Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be doing another swipe. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing the last one and I got a lot of positive feedback on it too. And, and a number of you said, you need to do more. So I'm going to do more. <laughs> I'm using the, the colors that I used in my last video, the blues, the ocean blue wave. I love those colors. Um, that was a really fun collab. So I want to use up the rest of those colors and do a swipe. So pressure's on. <laughs> Hope it turns out well. Let's go have some fun. All right. For today's swipe, I am going to be do using this uh, 11 by 11 by 14 oval canvas. I had tried to do something else on it before and let it dry so I can reuse it. As I get more uh, comfortable uh, doing the swipes, I'd like to do them a little bit more fancy but for now I'm just gonna do kind of similar the same swipe I did uh, as as the uh, video I did a couple mm, two videos back so the pillow I am using uh, I've switched back to the Glidden premium satin only because it's sitting right here and I had more of it sitting out than I did the eggshell because this is a bigger canvas I uh, you'll find I interchange them either because of bubbles or just because of I have more of one or the other sitting here on my bench. Um, and the satin is sometimes a little bit thinner than the eggshell. So, uh, so those are the three reasons. If ever you're wondering why is she using this again or why is she using that again? It, I interchange them. Um, they're my go-to. And so that's why. <laughs> just had to get a little bit more. I just want just a little bit more on the sides here. It should be good. All right, the colors I am going to be using are the <laughs> exact same colors I did in my last video, the blue, the ocean blue wave video, I called it. Uh, I, I, I loved the colors, the combination of the colors. And I've got a lot of it, so I wanted to just use them up on a bigger canvas. I'm trying to go bigger as well, so kill two birds with one stone. And I'm going to be using the same swiping tool as I did last time. I'm 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 confident with this one here, so we're gonna we're gonna keep using it. So the first the first color I'm going to put down is the oops. That is open. I don't want that coming out. Uh, the This Little Piggy Pigment in Lakeside. And they're all relatively the same consistency as last time, but I'll show you real quick just in case. They haven't really changed because it's only been a day or so. I do love this blue. <laughs> and I'll just keep saying it. I'm going to put all of it on there. All right. And the next one is the Amsterdam bronze. And here's the consistency. And all of these are uh, mixed with the uh, Infinity Joe Sonia at three to one. Next color is the PBO Iridescent Blue Black. That's what that one looks like. Um, where's my where's my deco art? There it is. All right, the next color is the DecoArt Extreme Sheen in Sapphire. That's kind of what it looks like there. This is what it looks like mixed up. And a snapshot of all of these, again, will be at the beginning of this video. 
uh, the colors used, the pouring medium, the cell activator, all that good stuff. And also down below in the description box, I put everything. The next color is this little piggy nebula, which is the dark blue with the, with the green undertone. I've just got a tiny bit left of this, but we're gonna, we're gonna add what's left. It's a little bit gloopy, but I don't care. I'm going with it. Next color is Josonia Thalo Blue. This was the um, only non-iridescent color I have in this mix, and this is the consistency of it. Get right there. And then my last color is the custom color I created. Uh, it is iridescent, the PBO iridescent blue black. I I uh, I mixed this up in the cup first, and then I added a couple squirts of this golden fluid turquoise phthalo. And this is the color that results in that mix. Love it, just love it. Kind of wanna. Sprinkle it like that, just to get a lot more coverage in there. Alrighty, Oop. where is my, my pillow? Just put it up here on the side, not that it matters, I don't know why, but I just felt I had to do that. <laughs> Move this up this way just a little bit. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more pillow over here. So when I swipe over here, it carries over. Probably have too much paint, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. All right, I'm going to use two cell activators, and I'm going to try something. It may or may not work out. We're going to find out. Um, I'm going to use both the... Uh, I'm, I'm using up my cell activator from my, uh, the video I did on all the cell activator brands. This is the Titanium White Atelier Interactive. I have that mixed four to one with the Australian Floetrol. Let me see. There's the consistency of that. And then I'm going to be using the copper by the Atelier Interactive as well, which is what I used in my last video. And that's the consistency of that. But my idea, and I'm going off already, but that's okay. In my last swipe video, I was I put it I put just the cell activator on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to layer both of them. I'm going to put a little layer of the oh. I don't know what I'm going to do first, but I'm going to do white and then copper so that they're kind of together here. We're going to swipe that way and see how it goes. Actually, I think I'm going to do copper on the tip. <laughs> I did it the best I could. All right, let's see what happens. mess that up but we'll see how that goes maybe maybe not it might get swiped off or it might get spun off anyways going as fast as I can <laughs> trying to wipe this off and put more cell activator on all right 
last one on this side. Oof, it's responding nicely. It looks gorgeous. I love that turquoisey blue with the white and the copper. Such a beautiful combo. I think I'm gonna flip flop the other side here. I'm gonna do white on top and copper and see if that doesn't anything any different. Give it a go. All right, well, that's what that looks like. We're gonna give it a go on this side. Ooh, those cells ringed with copper. Gorgeous. Where can I wipe this? I'm running out of room to wipe my tool. <laughs> All right, last one. Like those little cutie cluster shells. This almost looks like <laughs> it's underwater. That's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that just the way that is. All right. That looks really cool. I don't know which side I like better. I think I almost like it ringed. How these cells have the um the copper ringed around them. Look at those cute little clusters. <laughs> little baby clusters those are so cute all right let's let's do something here i kind of want to do something like that maybe like a, bring that over probably get tossed off anyways but that's okay I think I like that. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna leave the rest. I'm gonna leave it up to the spin gods. All right, I am gonna bring this over to my spinner box. We're gonna tilt it some and spin it and see what comes of it. All right, let's see here. What to do, what to do. Down. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I want to keep more of this than this because I've got a lot of blue in here. So bring this down just a hair and I don't mind if it's kind of whoop like that. <laughs> just make sure this is anchored enough and I think I'm gonna glue. Move it a little bit more central and just go slow and not try to put my hand in it. Woo! Look at that. Oh, there goes my cute little cluster cells. I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep them. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Take some off on this side so I can save some more of the middle. All right. Let's bring it back. Gosh, this is just so pretty. I think it's going to be a super bling. Right. Let's just spin it slow. More paint off. I want to go the other way. Mm. Wow. This is so cool. I feel like I want to make some modifications right in here. Just kind of, but I might do that after the fact getting close. It's not moving a lot. And I don't want to spin it too much more. I think what I might do is go this way a little bit more. Take off some more over there. And keep all this here. I love the copper running through there. It's so pretty. I think we're there. I'm going to call this one done, and I really can't wait to see this dry. All right. Good on the edges, too. Oof. Wow. A lot of bling in here. There's that one. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I'm going to bring you over for the flyover. All right, here is the flyover. There's a lot of movement going on in here. <laughs> the cells almost look very um, disorganized, but I kind of like the chaos of it. And I love that right there with the copper veining. It almost looks, I mean, this, this whole thing looks like an underwater uh, realm. <laughs> I love that with the white veining and then the copper in between there. I mean, this is just, I'm super excited about this. I know with swipes, you can't keep everything you want. And usually the center is what you're going to keep. But I did, I wanted to keep some of these and I'm glad they held on. I love that right there. And this, this uh, veining with the copper and the blue, it's just gorgeous. And this in here, it's like, I can't, I can't pick just one. And it's kind of like almost creepy eerie right there. <laughs> but in a good way. But look at, I mean, it's just so cool. I, I, I totally dig it. Tell me what you think. I am so excited to see how this dries. There is so much super bling in here. I will be back in a minute with the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me do. And it just, it dried beautifully. <laughs> I mean, just how you saw it wet is how it dried. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to capture all the, there's a lot of bling in this piece. 
similar to the last piece, uh, the last video, because I did the same, I used the same paints. And I may actually resin this one. I've, I've not resined something this big yet, so, but I think it deserves, it deserves a, it deserves a resin bath. I, I just, I love the craziness of it. I, it's, it's so chaotic. It's like being, I mean, I named it Underwater Realm because it's just like you're underwater in all these different just little caverns and things almost, I don't know. It reminded, <laughs> it reminded, reminds me a little bit of if any of you are Harry Potter fans, the, uh, uh, Oh, which one was it? The Goblet of Fire, where they had to do an underwater um, uh, tournament, and it, it kind of reminds me of like the little um, the foliage and the kind of the creepiness a little bit of it, but in a good way. Again, no bad creepiness here. But I just love all the colors in here, and that copper just threaded throughout just really made this. I feel so that's how that dried I am super pleased please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this swipe I, I've got some ideas for future swipes I almost want to um, you know if something is portrait I want to do up here and then swipe this way so that I can save a lot of those really cool cells I've not done one that way yet so I'll probably try that next. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I had a lot of fun uh, doing this swipe again. I'm, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <music>